Okay, welcome to the Deer Park Composting Unit Action Team. And today we're going to make Bokashi brand so that we can do Bokashi composting in about two weeks. So the first thing we do is we need 10 pounds of this brand. So Jim, you want to pour that in there? Into hopefully, the bucket? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't Where do you get brand? You buy it at the feed store. Ah. I think this is wheat brand. Well, there's rice brand and wheat brand or something like that. So that all goes in there. Oh, that does. Wow. Oh boy, we need a mixing. It's probably maybe. Just I will figure work. that out. Okay, so before we put any more, this is about eight pounds. We need to add two more. So in that thing right there, before you put the top on, mm -hmm. we're going to mix um, ten cups of water. Ten cups of water. So the ratio is ten cups of water, ten pounds of. Yep. Two. Okay. Five, eight, nine, and it has to be just a little more. Oh, for the governor, Governor Brown. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you need uh, that's our rainwater that we collected because you have to have uh, non chlorinated water. Okay, now we put our molasses ah, that's in. That's a good point, non chlorinated because it'd kill the bokashi. Exactly. So a quarter cup of this. Ooh, molasses. Jim's taste testing. This is the food for the. It's kind of harsh to eat raw, it's isn't it? Pretty strong. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's hungry. All right. So now you can put the top and mix that up a little bit before we put in the microorganisms. Yeah. And then we put we have EM inoculate. Get a close up of that. Where do you get that? You have to buy this. If you're really hardcore, you can make it, but we're not. It's so, like a starter mix. Yeah, it's a it's a bunch of uh, specialized uh, microorganisms. Okay, that's good. Is it kind of a yeast? It's no, it's microorganisms that break down uh, that are decomposers. We put in a quarter cup of those bad boys. That's a secret sauce. Secret sauce. Okay. So you mix those up in a little bit. And then, I don't know how we're going to do this because we have to, well, we have to damp, dampen this a lot. So it'll probably shrink when it gets water in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's pour that into here right now. Into the black bucket? Yeah, into the black bucket. And then they say to mix it with your hands. Ooh, this be fun. Ooh that sounds good. Wow, nothing like <laughs> molasses on the bare hands. We specialize in getting very smelly at the Deer Park composting unit. No Our mud, CT. no lotus. What does your shirt mean? No mud, no lotus. No mud, no lotus. Is that you have to compost your suffering and your food waste. Transform it. Here, Jim, get in there. Okay. <laughs> Transformation. That's why this is called Transformation Station. Down there. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good. Wow. Good shrinking, Laura. Yeah. So get a look at that. Oh, look at that. Come in and look at our beautiful Bokashi yeah. brand. That's looking good. But now it's I have edible. to add some it more. Does. That's not really 10 pounds. So then so we let bake, me add a little more. Bake it 350? No. We bake it for two weeks. We close it up and let it anaerobically. Um, inoculate oh. the brand for two weeks. Oh, right in this bucket. Yep. So we don't heat it up or anything. It nope. just sits there room temperature and does Ooh, its well, thing. We need some more water. I, I think, think so. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's like we're making cookies. Maybe we have more than 10 pounds. And we have to add more, so I'm going to get it all in there so we know the size. Oh, really? So we got to add more water, too. Yeah, we have to have 10 pounds of this stuff. Pour it all in. I think it'll fit. Is that enough molasses? Yeah. Well, the ratios are right, huh? Yeah? Yep. I think we might add more water, though. All right. So okay. try that. You want me to mix for a while, or? Does it have a scent to it? it smells earthy. Oh, all smells right. good. Cool. It smells like you're going to bake bread. Nice. There's a now we're going to let this cook for two weeks, or sit for two weeks and, and ferment? Yep, and then we're going to dry it out. Now you ferment it with a lid on it and yep. sealed up? 
So this so is. This has to be wetter. Let's this is anaerobic. Huh? I think so too. Yeah. This is uh, does it without mm -hmm. air. Nice rainwater. Yes. Yep. Oh, nice. And it's supposed to be damp like a sponge, a wrung out sponge. Yeah, we needed a bigger mixer. I'm not too oh, damp like a wrung out sponge. I think, okay, I think we're not going to put any more of that in. For sure? Yeah. I'd help, but I'm holding the camera. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not a bad job at all. Yeah. Now, how does this use once it's fermented? I'll get the bottom in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're getting it now, Laura. It's looking good and uniform. Mm-hmm. Okay, little boogers. Little boogers. <laughs> Once it's uh, fermented, what's it? How's it used? So then, when we we fer we ferment it, we it's, this is inoculation. I don't know if this is okay. It's inoculation. So inoculate the bran with the microorganisms, and then we dry it. And then for each time we put a load of food waste, we're going to sprinkle some of this on here, and the microorganisms then are going to ferment our food waste. And because one of our issues at Deer Park is we have a lot of green waste, what's called green waste because it's the nitrogen load, um, this will be a good way to store it until we're ready to load the big earth tub, which is a gigantic hot composting unit. And then we can do it all at once and that will go faster. Oops, here's some So pieces. everyone scrapes their plates after a veggie meal into five gallon buckets and uh, each bucket we put a little of this on top of the food scraps. And then when the bucket's full, we seal it up for two weeks. Yep. And, and then it's fermented and ready to either go in the compost or be dug into a garden. Quick wow, so it composted right in the five gallon bucket we collected in. Yep. With a little bit of this bacteria huh yep and it's called once again bokashi b-o-k-a-s-h-i okay sounds so like it's a japanese fermentation it is developed by a japanese scientist to help people in tokyo be able to compost without smell and in a small space and so he developed this wonderful okay we got it well, great that's it very good thank you